Check this place out, it is awesome. everyone, welcome to 5 a.m. here in India. Last night, I slept here at this monastery. And as you can hear behind me, they're actually doing morning prayers here at 5 a.m. The view here is awesome, check it out. This is what they call Land of the Rising Sun. So as you can see, I can see why now. I cannot get over that view, check it out. Wow. It's like the sky's on fire, it's amazing. All right, so if you're wondering why I'm in India, I'm in a specific region of the northern eastern part of the country called Arunachal Pradesh, which is a, not a very commonly visited uh, area by tourists. So what happened is that the government uh, brought a bunch of bloggers and vloggers uh, from around the world, including myself, to experience this very remote part. The idea for them to bring us along is to show you guys why you should come here and check out this amazing place. Uh, I hope you're ready for an amazing adventure. <laughs> Brother and I had the same idea, uh, and that's flying a drone. So that's exactly what we are going to do today. Another successful drone flying. Isn't that view amazing, Chloe? It's really amazing. So, anyway, we're gonna have breakfast and we'll see you at the next location, which is Ciao. I don't know where. Do it! Do it! I gotta say, I've seen a lot of cute dogs here in India, but this one, this one might take the cake for the cutest dog. We stopped here on the road to see this kiwi farm. And you know, kiwis grow on trees, who knew? And uh, everybody's now stealing kiwis, as you can see behind me. There is a man. See, I, I don't agree with that, but it's India, and what are you gonna do? <laughs> so, Irani, tell me about why I don't know, Chal Praesh is so unique compared to the rest of India. Regarding the people, that there are so many tribes, so many cultural. Diversity is in Arunachal. So Irani here is the reason I'm here and why the rest of us are here. <laughs> so she's been very nice to uh, host us here. Be sure to come and check it out, right? Yes. What do you have in your hand? It's a hybrid of an orange and a lemon. And how's it smell? And it, it smells amazing. It's not good to eat, but it helps with motion sickness. This is the festival that we are supposed to go attend later. And this is a poster. So it's going to be very colorful, as you can see. Good anymore. It's not good anymore? No. It's Look. Good. Oh my gosh, it's expired. Yeah. yeah. So in these little stands, you'll find a lot of these things that are just expired. That's crazy. Look, check it out. We're so high that all the bags are like super inflated. Currently, it's a little hot having a, a quick break before we head off on the road. And we're having what I like to call the famous roadside food of uh, Maggi, which is just noodles. It's delicious. Good? It's it. It's good? Nice and warm. Spicy. 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 So welcome to the first installment of Tall People Problems. Is that in a lot of places you don't fit. That's just struggles real. Uh, in one stall they were trying to give charge me 100 rupees, and in the other one I was able to get him for 25 rupees, which basically is four times the cost because they saw I was a foreigner. So uh, when you're somewhere here, you got plenty of options. So make sure you check a few prices and then buy it where you want. Otherwise you're going to get taken advantage of. What are you doing, buddy? Fixing the GoPro. Yeah, you're going to mount it on the front. Mm -hmm. Should provide for a nice view. And this is what a Indian traffic jam looks like. Spaces are small in this place. So this entire area we're going to is controlled by the military, as you can see. And uh, getting in or out is a bit of a nightmare sometimes. This is how, guys, we are at 10,000 feet above sea level. And this road just keeps taking us up and up and up. And we're actually going to be above the clouds. So yeah, getting here is really, really hard. You actually have to like hire your own car and go up and down these windy roads and it's really, really shaky. My back kind of hurts right now from all the jumping up and down, but uh, it's honestly the only way you can get here. It's uh, it's a crazy strange feeling being so far from anything. It's been two days to get here on car. Look 
Look at these silly tourists. Oh no, it's Chloe. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Ladakh here in India. And Leh, it's like very Himalayan-ish uh, kind of feel and just the beauty of it is just awesome. Check it out, we are 13,000 feet 700, so that's pretty high. Uh, I'm gonna show you the inside of a little shack here, which is very cute. There's no space here. And then we got people huddled over the fire trying to warm up. Hello! Hello! Mm, we're having some chai. Quite good. It's really like uh, shed chai. The best. Sada, how are you? Are you doing good? Look at your breath. So this is a traffic jam here. You got the military, you got music blaring like crazy. You got a whole bunch of people honking. It's, uh, it's pretty tough. But the view is nice, look at that. It's actually snowing, as you can see. It's actually bouncing off the car here. So we're just, I don't know what we're waiting for, but uh, when the men with guns tell you not to move, you don't move. Popular girl in the group, getting pictures with everybody. You okay, want a picture please? too? All right. The car is just so uncomfortable. I'm like so tired. My neck hurts, my back hurts. It's been pretty tough, but sometimes you get moments like this where it's uh, pretty much worth it. So apparently here they give out free chai, which is interesting, and you got all the military hanging out with us. No better chai than free chai. It's called ye chai nahi chahat hai, which translates into this is not tea, this is love. love. <laughs> well, cheers to love. Cheers to love. Our drivers are uh, chilling out, right? <laughs> I see why it's the least visited region of India uh, for Indians and for those foreigners because it's so hard to get here. Far, definitely worth it. Check it out, this guy, I don't know why he's here, but he has a giant camera and uh, he's been following us around. So I think he's making like a documentary thing for everything, but look at that, that's massive. And that's our driver, and uh, we call him Schumacher because he's so, he's so fast when he drives and it's really scary. and uh, we got this cute little room with my awesome roomie, Sara. You already know her. And uh, we got a cute little view. Look at this. And it's so cute, you can actually step out to the outside like this. Look. You can just step out of your hotel room and you can step back in. And uh, we're gonna sleep and then go to the festival tomorrow, which should be really awesome. So, we'll see you then. We're gonna, <laughs> people down there are looking at me really weird. <laughs> like, what are you doing stepping out of your room? So, hey, how's it going? <laughs> So, anyway, say hi to the locals down there. 